This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Storyblocks.com. Hey guys, in this After Effects tutorial, we will be creating a creative slideshow animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. We will take a look at various different techniques of creating shapes and elements for the complete design. So without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright guys, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's go with 1920 by 1080. I'll call this render as our main render comp. 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Hit OK. Let's create a new placeholder. I mean a new composition, which is going to be a new placeholder for our image. So I'm going to call this media. And for the height and width, I'll go with 1080 by 1080. Hit OK. OK. And then here I have a simple PNG image of a person. You can use any image that you want or, you know, you can download the free project file from the link in the description below. So I'm going to create a circle. So I'm going to select the ellipse tool from the shape layers. Let's create a circle like so. I'm like this big. And I'm going to align this properly. And then I can adjust my image on the top of this particular shape. So I'm going to scale my image a bit so that it looks the way I want it to look. So something like, something like this maybe. Yeah, that looks good. And uh, then what I'm going to do is select the image, select the ellipse tool and basically create a mask. So I'm going to hold control and create a mask like so. You can also hold shift. To create a perfect circle basically and i'm going to create something like that and then we can zoom in and adjust this mask so i'm going to select this hit um, Control t and we can adjust the mask accordingly i can even use the arrow keys to adjust it properly so i'm going to use that take some time and i also adjust it from the corners a bit okay maybe pull this a bit down and there we go perfectly done and then i will select my mask tool let's hit v and select this point and drag this up and also one more thing that i will do is select the pen tool here and create some extra points right here so i'm gonna switch back to the selection tool let's move this one and let's move this one so our image is properly visible as you can see looking pretty good and let's rename this layer to circle go, in, go into effects and presets and type in fill and let's add a fill in order to color the circle up i will be using one of my favorite nice dark pink color that looks pretty nice i'll copy the fill effect so it control c to copy it now let's go back into our main render comp and let's build up our scene so first we will work on the design section of the complete slideshow and then we will start working on the animation part now before i proceed further with this tutorial let me tell you about today's sponsor storyblocks as an editor how much time have you wasted looking for that perfect video clip or maybe that perfect music for your videos or a simple graphic animation as an editor don't you wish there was a simple and affordable way to find the clips and graphics for your projects what if i told you there is there is storyblocks storyblocks offers thousands of studio quality and royalty free stock video clips after effects templates motion graphics backgrounds intros and so much more everything is royalty free so you can use it for your commercial projects or for your old youtube videos which is super awesome storyblocks offers affordable subscription plans that scale to meet your needs and a new video editing tool called maker i use storyblocks myself for my client projects because with their unlimited all access plan i can download unlimited assets and use maker and i only have to pay a single price per year so go ahead and check out storyblocks.com slash dope motions or click the first link in the description below so first of all let's hit ctrl y to create a new solid called this bg for background for the color i'll give it a nice kind of a black color and then let's hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's rename this to dots and then i will add the fill 
let's keep it white for now then i'll go into effects and presets again and add a really interesting effect called venetial blinds and we will be using this effect quite a lot in this uh, particular tutorial i'm going to set the transition completion to around 95 percent and increase the width of this to around 60 let's see 60 looks good then duplicate it hit ctrl d to duplicate it and let's rotate this direction to 90 degrees so basically we get this really nice dots and i think um 60 is a bit too much so i'll go something like 50 and this one to 50 as well so yeah that looks good and then i will adjust the color of this so i'm gonna keep it very subtle i think it's hardly uh, it's hardly visible but it looks good it adds a nice texture to our background instead of making it look really simple plain lame black color anyway so this looks good now let's drag in our uh, media composition and place it into the position that we want also i'm gonna scale this down a bit so i'm gonna hit s and let's scale this down like so let's position it where we want to place it so something like that looks good then i'm going to select the ellipse tool and let's increase the stroke quite a lot maybe around 50 pixels and let's set this to white for now set the fill to none and create a circle like so maybe increase this quite a lot like that looks good and i'm going to place it into the position that i want so i want to keep it something like that and let's bring that down to 120 i think that looks much better and let's call this circle underscore one hit ctrl d so we have circle two and i'm gonna place this one right over here also select this hit u two times and let's make this a bit smaller so adjust this accordingly and then basically i can add the same color just like our background so i'm gonna add fill or i can just simply copy paste it but I'm gonna just add a fill really quick and pick up the colors from here. So I'm gonna select this control C, control V for the both the shapes. And finally, I'm gonna add a plus sign as an accent to the complete design. So let's increase the size of the text. And I'm gonna place this here, maybe rotate this a little bit for now. Also, I'm gonna move the anchor point, which is at the bottom. I want to place the anchor point into the center so i'm going to hold control and double click on the pan behind tool and that should fix this and i'm going to place this here let's con hit control v to paste the same fill again and um let's um add some text as well so i'm going to type in my text you can of course type in any text that you want i'm typing typography i don't need any spacing in between the text let's make this small a bit all right and i'm going to select this at control d type in our second text that is creative slide so now put in creative text let's make this a bit smaller like so place this one right over here i think that is looking good and now let's add some nice accent to the complete design to um, you know finalize and create a nice composition and go with the flow of the complete uh, setup that we are making here now i'm going to select the ellipse tool let's uh, create a simple shape just like that and uh, i'm going to call this fractal then i will be using the venetial blinds effect again and let's set the transition completion to something like 97 or 98 and increase the width really high so something like that looks good and then use a really interesting effect called turbulence displacement to achieve some very interesting shapes as you can see i'll put this at the back of our media and then solo this up so we can focus on this let's go with something like 97 i think 97 looks good and we can animate the evolution to keep the shapes animating like so you can play around with the complete size and um, amount as well to get a really interesting look can see it's pretty cool right and there we go so now we want to animate the evolution so i will be using a simple expression for this so i'll just um make some room right here hold alt and click on the stopwatch of the evolution and use a simple expression that is time times 25 and then we will get a really nice and simple animation for our shape which looks pretty good and then i can copy paste the same color or the same fill from here 
and we get this really nice look as you can see now i can duplicate this at Control d and let's place it into a different position to add a nice accent to this maybe and for this i will make some changes here with the shape basically i'm gonna increase the width nice and high and then select the fractal hit u two times to reveal the size and increase the size a bit like so so it goes right here as you can see and let's set this to 98 all right really nice thin lines and finally i will be adding some simple shapes to this also yeah before i finally add my text i'm going to duplicate this fractal so i'm going to hit ctrl d and let's get rid of the venetial blinds and i will be using the simple shapes here i'm going to hit u two times again and bring that down a bit i'm going to use some small shapes you know i can again play around with the complexity a bit maybe but let's keep keep it at z1 and increase the size or play around with the size to get a really interesting look that is looking good and then i will bring down the opacity of this one to around eight percent that looks good yep and i can select this at Control d and place one copy right here looks pretty nice and now i can go ahead and add our text i can also change the color of this one to a different color oh so that you know um it's much more easy to see and yeah so i'm gonna select my text tool and let's type in our final text i'm gonna add a hashtag creative And there we go our design is completely ready now we can actually go ahead and start animating our design or our slide i'm going to start off by hiding all the layers and animating them one by one so first of all i'm going to turn on the background that we have and let's pattern the the dot layer to the background just like so and let's animate the background so i'll go to around two seconds all right i'm gonna hit p to bring down the position create a keyframe go back and bring this down just like so all right now let's turn on the uh, fractals that we have so let's turn them on and let's animate them so i'll go to around three second i think yep select the fractals hit p to bring down the position create a keyframe go back to around one second i think one second would be fine and then i will be selecting the, this fractal and let's move them this one to the left this one up this one right here and this one right over here so we have a pretty nice and simple animation as you can see looking pretty good all right now let's turn on our media and let's animate them as well so i'm gonna select the media layer hit p create a keyframe go back and pull that out as well like so all right then i'm gonna turn on the circle shapes and let's animate them as well so i'm gonna select them hit p and go back to three seconds create a keyframe go back right here and then i will be pulling them out of the frame like so and then let's add the shape as well animate the shape as well so i'm gonna select this hit p create a keyframe go back and pull that down but on this shape i want to add a continuous rotation movement as well so i'm gonna select this hit r and let's use the same expression that is hold alt and click on the stopwatch and then type in time times 25 so it, it, it's gonna animate in but it's gonna keep on rotating now at the moment our animation looks a bit lame i know but we will be fixing this as we proceed with this video so let's pull up our text and let's animate our text first of all so i'm gonna select both our text i'll go to around 2 second and 15 frames select them hit p create a keyframe on the position hit t create a keyframe on the opacity hit u so we can see all the keyframes go to one second and let's bring down the opacity to zero and let's pull the typography text down and the creative text up a bit so we have this simple animation as you can see and finally our two text at the top so let's select let's go to three seconds select them hit p 
with the keyframe go to around one second and pull them out like so all right so we have so many keyframes here now let's um select all the layers hit u so we can see all the keyframes select all the keyframes hit f9 go into the graph editor right click and make sure you're walking in the edit speed graph all right i'm going to select all the points and drag the handle to the left holding shift like so and now if i go back and let's preview the animation we have this very nice animation as you can see if i set this to full you can see we have this very interesting and a cool slide animation pretty cool and one last thing that i want to add to this is i'm going to close them all up and let's select this um, fractal shape this one then duplicate this i'll change the color of this so that we know it's a different shape let's pull this right here let's solo this up hit u and uh, delete all the keyframes from there i'm gonna align this at the center and then um, let's hit u two times increase the size of this so it covers up the complete frame and make some changes in the effects and controls so i'm gonna bring down the width a bit closer maybe and set this to a nice dark gray color now let's animate the shape so i'll go to around one second all right i'm gonna unsolo this up so we can see everything let's pull this down like so hit p and create a keyframe on the position go to maybe four seconds and let's pull that up like so i'm gonna select the keyframes and hit f9 and boom there we have our complete animation so it adds a interesting element for our background as you can see it looks pretty cool and there we go there we have our type of a creative slideshow animation ready to roll so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow me on instagram at dope.motions i will see you in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out